What turns a war hero into a monstrous criminal? What could have happened in the life of Gilles de Reis that led him down such a dark path? This tale begins with a man of noble birth, a decorated military captain hailed as a hero fighting valiantly in the Hundred Years' War. But as the pages of history turn, we find a darker narrative emerging, one of unspeakable crimes and egregious excess. Join us as we delve into the life of Gilles de Reilly, a man with two faces. Born around 1405 in Brittany, France, Gilles de Reilly was set for a life of nobility. Descended from a line of prestigious ancestors, he grew up in a world of privilege and power. As a young boy, Gilles was exposed to the art of war, which sparked a natural talent within him, a talent that would later catapult him to prominence on the battlefield. His early years were marked by a promising military career. Gilles fought valiantly alongside Joan of Arc during the Hundred Years' War, a brutal conflict between England and France. His efforts on the battlefield did not go unnoticed. He was showered with titles and estates, symbols of his military prowess and a testament to his heroism. Yet beneath the accolades and the wealth, a darker side was brewing. His military talent was undeniable, earning him recognition and wealth, but was this the beginning of his end? With recognition came wealth and with wealth an extravagant lifestyle. Gilles de Rey, once hailed as a war hero, found himself in the lap of luxury. He was a man of fine tastes, who reveled in the grandeur of his estates, indulged in opulent clothing, collected priceless works of art, and hosted grand feasts that were the talk of the town. However, his penchant for the finer things in life soon took a toll on his vast fortune. His reckless spending led to financial mismanagement allegations, and his extravagant lifestyle became a subject of public scrutiny. As his wealth dwindled, so did his reputation. But the loss of wealth and status was merely the beginning of Gilles de Reilly's descent. His fascination with the occult and the supernatural grew, leading him down a path of unimaginable darkness. In the 1430s, whispers of horrifying acts began to circulate. Gilles de Reilly, the once admired nobleman, was accused of kidnapping, torturing, and murdering numerous children, his twisted interests in alchemy and the supernatural allegedly playing a role in his heinous crimes. The man who once stood shoulder to shoulder with Joan of Arc on the battlefield was now a figure of terror. His name whispered with fear and revulsion. His actions cast a long, dark shadow over his previous achievements. His actions would soon bring him notoriety, marking the start of his downfall. As his wealth dwindled, Gilles de Rey found himself drawn to the occult and the macabre, a chilling fascination that would lead him down a path of unimaginable darkness. In the 1430s, a series of horrifying allegations began to surface. Gilles de Rey, once a military hero, was now suspected of committing heinous acts of cruelty against the most vulnerable. Historical accounts suggest that he was involved in the kidnapping, torturing, and murdering of numerous children. This nobleman, once celebrated for his valor on the battlefield, had seemingly become a monster, preying on the innocent. His name, once associated with bravery, was now linked to the most gruesome of crimes. But the darkness didn't stop there. Gilles de Rey was said to be deeply intrigued by the occult, allegedly engaging in rituals that were influenced by his interest in alchemy and the supernatural. It was a fascination that only added another layer of mystery and terror to his already disturbing tale. His heinous crimes would soon catch up with him, leading to his arrest and trial. In 1440, Gilles de Rey was arrested, tried, and convicted for his horrific crimes. The once revered war hero was now a figure of terror, standing trial for charges of heresy, kidnapping, and murder. The courtroom was filled with a chilling silence as the extent of his deeds came to light, sending shockwaves through the society of the time. The man who had once fought valiantly alongside Joan of Arc was now the monster in the room, his deeds casting a long, dark shadow over his former glory. Gilles de Reis, once a beacon of bravery, was now the embodiment of human depravity. His trial held the nation in its grip, the proceedings revealing a darkness that few could comprehend. The verdict was unanimous, and on October 26, 1440, Gilles de Reilly was hanged and his body burned at the stake. Gilles de Reilly, once a war hero, met his end at the gallows, a stark reminder of the dual nature of man.